Are you looking to level up your lamination? Well, stick around, because I've got something to show you. I'm Erin with Broad and Taylor, and today we are talking dough sheeters. Here in front of me, I have our 15 and a half inch and our 12 inch dough sheeter. Now, dough sheeters are most commonly used to roll out laminated doughs. Think buttery, flaky pastries such as croissant, danish, and puff pastry. Professional bakers use sheeters in commercial settings, but they're very large, very expensive, and impractical for home use. These tabletop sheeters offer the perfect solution for bakers who are looking for the benefits of a commercial sheeter, but in a smaller and more convenient package. If you spend any time making laminated doughs by hand, you know what a challenge it can be. Using the dough sheeter saves time, effort, and gets you a dough with more even thickness and more precise layers, all of which can make the process a lot more enjoyable and lead to a more perfect pastry. And who doesn't want that? All right, so let's go ahead and take a more in-depth look at each sheeter. This is our 12-inch compact sheeter. This is the smaller of the two models that we carry. As you can see, it comes in three main pieces, the main body, the support rails, and the rolling board. And it also comes with a handle that's very easy to attach. Now let's go ahead and put it together. All right, as you can see, that took almost no time to assemble. It was very easy to do, and now we are ready to roll. When you're working with a sheeter, you do want to allow for a little extra room on each side because it will be very helpful with clearance for the board, whether you're loading the board into the sheeter or you're simply just working back and forth when you're rolling the dough. The 12 inch compact sheeter has thickness adjustments from zero to 17.5 millimeters. From zero to five, it's adjustable in one millimeter increments. And from five to 17.5, it's adjustable in 2.5 millimeter increments. You can see as I move the adjustment knob, the roller, moves up and down so you can have very very thin one millimeter selection or you can go all the way up to 17 and a half millimeter it's very easy to operate it doesn't require any electricity it's a manual operation you just turn the handle here and if you were going to use it you'd want to make sure it was on the edge of a table so that you could freely rotate the handle all the way around the amount of dough that you can roll out on this sheeter depends somewhat on the final dimensions and thickness that you're going for. From our experience, a batch of croissant dough made with 300 grams of flour or a dough weight of about 675 grams, including the butter block, is about max capacity. And a recipe like that makes about six croissants. If you're looking for a recipe that's specifically formulated for this sheeter, we have a couple on our website. We have croissants and we have cruffins, so make sure to check those out in the link below. All right, now let's take a look at the 15 inch folding sheeter. In this convenient package right here, we have our 15 and a half inch folding sheeter. Now let's go ahead and assemble it. The 15 and a half inch sheeter has a thickness adjustment range of zero to 27 millimeters. You do need some extra space on either side of the arms when you're rolling. So as the board is rolling side to side, when it's fully extended, it can extend beyond the rails. And when you're loading the board, it's very helpful to have some clearance on each side so you can get the board into position. A unique feature of this sheeter is that it has two adjustment knobs. It has the main adjustment knob right here, which is adjustable from zero to 25 millimeters in two and a half millimeter increments. But it also has a fine adjustment knob. Now this knob can be adjusted from zero to two millimeters in a half millimeter increment. So you can use these two knobs combined to get any thickness between zero and 27 millimeters 
in a half millimeter increment. So you really have a lot of options for thickness and you can achieve a very thin dough when you're rolling with this sheeter. This sheeter is also manually operated with a handle right here. And again, if you were using this, you'd want to have it to the edge of a table or the counter that you're working on so that you can fully rotate the handle. The amount of dough you can roll at one time with this sheeter depends somewhat on what you're doing. But from our experience, a croissant dough made with about 600 grams of flour or a total dough weight of about 1350 grams is around the max capacity that you can comfortably roll with this sheeter. And if you're looking for a croissant recipe that's specifically formulated for the sheeter, we have one on our website, so make sure to check the link below. A lot of our customers have asked us which model is the right one for them. Let's run down a quick comparison. The 12 inch compact sheeter can handle about 675 grams of dough. It has thickness adjustment options from 0 to 17.5 millimeters. From 0 to 5, it's adjustable in 1 millimeter increments. And from 5 to 17.5, it's adjustable in 2.5 millimeter increments. It's 32 and a half inches long, 19 inches wide, and 8 inches high. The 15 and a half inch folding sheeter can handle about 1350 grams of dough. It can be adjustable anywhere from 0 to 27 millimeters. It has two adjustment knobs. The main adjustment knob adjustable in two and a half millimeter increments and the fine adjustment knob adjustable in half millimeter increments. When assembled, the sheeter is 41 inches long, 22.5 inches wide, and 9.5 inches high. The difference really comes down to the amount of dough that you'll be working with at any given time. If you're a baker that knows you'll be making smaller batch sizes and you have less space to work with, then the 12 inch compact sheeter is the perfect choice for you. If you're regularly making larger batch sizes or you're a professional with a micro bakery, then the 15 and a half inch sheeter is going to be the right choice for you. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this helpful and we can't wait to see the pastries that you make with your sheeter. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for more information, including the recipes that I mentioned earlier, head to our website, broadandtaylor.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.